All right, going to be taking a look at DTII. I see Defense Technologies more than likely starting to pick up that volume here because of what happened in Syria. I'm just speculating that, but I'm sure that once Joe takes over, he can probably fill us in a little bit more. Uh, with that being said, let's talk about what's going on right now. Uh, right now, you guys are currently up 38.89% and opened at 0072, hitting the high of 0145. 20 day simple moving average. If I zoom in here a little bit more, you guys can see what's going on. Uh, you guys came down and hit that support line that we can draw right here. Came down to it one, two, three times in a row, bouncing off of it right now. Yesterday, you guys had a close at 0072 and an open at 00, I'm sorry, 0072. So perfect, perfect open today off of yesterday's close. It's always a great sign right now with 40 million shares. You guys are currently at 01. You see how this thing keeps going up and down while we're looking at this thing live? Uh, 01 right now with the 30 day simple moving average at 0096 and the 10 day simple moving average at 0095 and 96 for the 10 and 30 day simple moving average. You guys did get up and tap that 20 day simple moving average uh, with the high today of 0145 and the 20 day simple moving average is 0136. Either way, right now, beautiful setup. There is no gaps here at all, at all for DTII. Really set up here nicely. Uh, you guys have that volume here, but it's, I mean, with that kind of volume here, look at what happened over here with the same kind of volume. You guys went all the way from down here to 0011 area, all the way up to the three cent mark area. So huge move over here with the same amount of volume. It's just taking a lot more uh volume to really get you through i'm going to be watching for a break of that 20 day simple moving average and this will go on a technical analysis alert based on what i see right here if you guys get a close at or above zero one today i would put this one uh really on your watch list for monday a break of 20 day simple moving average would put this one on a technical analysis alert but right now it's zero zero nine it is 1 p.m eastern on four seven on friday so watch for that close. When you watch this later on, you'll know if it hit that. All right. So with these, this one right here, there's there's a lot of different information, a lot of things going on with the company. So they uh, they had a new CEO come in a few months back, and obviously things have turned around. So uh, they had their their latest quarterly from it was received on March 22nd. So I pulled that up really quick. Um, so let's say nature of operations and formation of uh, the PSI. I'm on page two, what page is this? Page six. All right. So uh, Defense Technologies International Corp was incorporated in the state of Delaware on May 27th, 1998. Effective June 15th, 2016, the company changed its name to Defense Technologies International Corp from Canyon Gold Corp to more fully represent the company's expansion goals into the advanced technology sector. So effective January 12th, 2017, Passive Security Scan Incorporated was incorporated in the state of Utah as a wholly owned subsidiary. The company has approved the merger of its wholly owned subsidiary Long, Long Canyon Gold Resource Corp into PSSI. With PSSI, the surviving entity, the merger will not be effective until the articles of the merger are filled or filed with the state of Utah. The company transferred to PSSI its exclusive worldwide license to the Defense Detection and Protection Security products previously acquired by the company. And it says to see note three for that. As discussed in note three, 34.62% of PSSI was acquired by several individuals and entities. The company owns the remaining 65%, 65.38% of PSSI. So that's that. So um, the going concern on it, let's see. The So through January 31st, 2017, the company has no revenues, has accumulated losses of $4,782,275 in total stockholder deficit of $1,410,546 and expects to incur further losses, losses in the development of its businesses, all of which cast substantial doubt on the company's ability as a going concern okay so that's that um they had a press release uh, after this thing was already up and it was on march 27th it was defense technologies international announces reduction in debt so defense technologies international a developer of security technologies announced on march 27th that has reduced its corporate debt 
by almost a half a million dollars. As reflected in the company's latest quarterly SEC filing, Defense Technologies International Corp has reduced its liabilities by $436,773 and increased its capital by $920,420 during the months and months of November 2016 to January 31st, 2017. The Defense Technologies remains committed to reducing liabilities and starting production of its non-X-ray scanner in the near, very near future, we appreciate and thank all of our shareholders for their support, stated Defense Technologies International Corp CEO Merrill Moses. As part of the financial improvements of the company, three creditors agreed to retire their outstanding claims against preferred shares at a conversion rate of one preferred to 10 common restricted shares. In addition, the company retired a convertible note with a cash payment of $49,377.22. The company's current goal is to raise capital in order to start the production and marketing of its passive security scan portal for its use at schools, universities, and commercial buildings, added Mr. Moses. All right, so the company's business, the Offender Alert Passive Scan. So that's basically what they're raising money to put out, I'm guessing. So the company's Offender Alert Passive Scan is a unique next-generation walkthrough detector scanning unit. This patented and trademarked passive scanning system allows for detecting and identifying concealed threats such as guns, knives, etc. Unlike other scanners the public is more familiar with, passive security scan does not use x-ray to detect threats. Mm -hmm. Serious health concerns have been raised over the repeated exposure of x-rays from other scanning machines currently in use. The offender alert passive scan scanner technology is based on the earth magnetic fields. It has no emissions whatsoever and is therefore extremely safe and harmless to the person passing through our portal. So um, their website is www.defensetechnologiesinternational, but it's international is just INTL. So defensetechnologiesintl.com. All right, so if you um if you want to continue doing more due diligence on this company, just go right over to that DTII board on Investors Hangout. From there, you will see the filings where you can go and see their uh, latest filing that was up from the uh, – Few weeks ago and then uh or actually last week and then the uh financials the recent news that uh, like i was just reading right there you can continue reading through that the time it sells the company profile and if you have an opinion on the company feel free to share it with the tens of thousands of like-minded investors that we have using the site daily all right there we go with the chart again uh let me go ahead and re uh reread this is 009 could be setting up for another move here in my opinion a close at or above 01 would be a great sign a break of 20 day simple moving average 0135 would put this on technical analysis alert resistance at 01 and 0135 support at 0058-0042. and as always if you're watching this one make sure you hit that like and subscribe button we'd appreciate it very much and get out there and share this video with all other investors on different social networks and different stock message boards and forums. The more you share it, the more that it's requested, the more that it's requested, the more we cover it. That is what we say here. And, uh, you know, like I say, if you have a hot stock, let us know about it over here at investorshangout.com forward slash live. You head on over there, let us know about your hot stock. We'll do a video on there. Again, DTI, I watch for this thing to break that 20-day simple moving average.